हे देअर फेलो डेवलपर्स एंड टेक एंथोसियाज वेलकम बैक टू अर यूट्यूब चैनल नो डेवलपर वी आर वी आर अबाउट टू इम्बार्क ऑन एन एक्साइटिंग जर्नी ऑफ बिल्डिंग एन इक्रेडिबल एंड्रॉइड एप फीचर टूगेदर यू आर न्यू हेयर कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड हिटिंग दट नोटिफिकेशन बिल सो यू डोट मिस आउट एनी ऑफ अवर टेक पैक टूटोरियस एंड इफ यू आर अर रिटर्निंग व्यूवर थैंक यू फॉर यूर कंटिन्यूड सपोर्ट लेट्स गेट रेडी टू डेवल बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद द लेटेस्ट टेक टिप्स कोडिंग हैक्स एंड बिहाइंड द सीस स्निक पीस बी श्योर टू फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड थ्रेड्स लिंक टू माई सोशल मीडिया प्रोफाइल्स आर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो ज्वाइन अवर वाइब्रेंट कम्युनिटी एंड लेट्स कनेक्ट बी on youtube okay so okay so i'm gonna run this app actually and uh, i'm gonna start from where we left in previous one so it's installed and you can see app info that's closed so let's see why it got closed okay there are some issues actually in this so it is showing that uh, we have the issue in this it started from the uh, chat adapter and uh, got in 18 line number then we get to the 26 line number and then we get to the 32 that's chat card and it is saying that it is a class cast exception we cannot cast the relative layout to the linear layout okay so let's see what's why this is issue so if you check this parent layout then it is the relative layout and we just created as linear layout so that's why it is creating the issue so let's simply clear this as linear layout and type it relative layout and now if we run this then we go don't gonna get this error again let's run this app and uh, you can see now you can see actually the chats are on the screen uh let's see the lock cat window here and you can see everything is working fine so currently let's see the context simply we can see the context here and if i click one of the context we don't get anything okay back nothing happening simple let's click on something okay that's crash why okay this is saying uh cannot create an instance of class message view model okay why because it is starting from on view created message fragment 41 then we have message view model 24 and then it is saying that we cannot create an instance of message view model okay so we cannot create the message view model instance why uh so if you can see here actually how you create the message view model that's the first question actually uh should be came to your mind be before solving this issue actually because if you see this issue you get that there is nothing that you can take and uh, solve the issue okay because I, i i know the issue actually i just got the issue directly whenever when i saw the code if you try to solve this type of code then you need to understand that it is saying that first it is get message view model and for that get message view model we need a view model so it's just view model lazy dot get value then get value then view model provider we get and from that view model provider this is the code so if i look up to this code you can see simply it is creating a model class and extras and then it is going to create this is the class fine then simply android view model factory everything is perfectly working now here you can see it is saying that no cannot create an instance of model class on line number this why this is happening because it needs something so model class dot get declared constructor dot new instance so this model class needs a or you can say basically this is the exception of no such method exception okay it is java dot lang dot runtime exception but if you saw that instance but be, uh, it can be anything actually and uh, it is saying that it is on 204 that it means this is the line and it is no such method exception that means we don't have any method so that we can create the view model instance and uh, why we don't have any method this is the issue here so if you go to this you see we need a constructor here and there you get the thing we don't have a constructor of the fragment from we are creating the view model so how we gonna get that basically if i tell you the direct solution then it is uh, android entry point we just miss this so if we like this then it is simple now if you run this again you will get this simple uh, let's it is uh, running it's installing and you can see we get this now if i again click on this then you can see it is again throwing exception what's the exception now 
इट इज इलीगल स्टेट एक्सेप्शन नाउ तो इट इज सेंग दैट अवेट क्लोज योर कॉल बैक और लिसनर डॉट कैंसल मेथड शुड बी यूज इन द एंड ऑफ द कॉल बैक फ्लो ब्लॉक ओके सो कॉल बैक फ्लो ब्लॉक शुड बी यूज दिस लाइक दिस ओके एंड वेयर वी आर यूजिंग दिस कॉल बैक फ्लो हेयर एंड इन द इन द मैसेज इन द यूज रिपोजिटरी बेसिकली when we are trying to fetch the get all messages of chat we are simply doing this and this and this and then we are await close listener not remove okay so actually we can also catch the exception here by using this simple and uh, let's log one thing here and uh, so log is basically error from sending message and uh, error from sending message what we are getting the error uh, at dot message or you can say it dot localized message and if it is null then simple um call back flow exception <coughs> okay now let's run this actually and see if it is gonna work or not basically it is gonna work simple no, nothing shock of it is gonna work now okay so it is not gonna work why because we are having the illegal state exception here cannot call this method while the cycler view is computing a layout or scrolling android x dot visit this and this and this so simple uh, fragment context wrapper okay cannot call this method while the cycler view is computing a layout and uh, this is chat adapter dot submit list okay so basically it is saying that chat adopter dot submitting the list and we are simply uh, click on the chat and then it just a uh, simple what we are saying that uh, it just create the new instance of the message and then fetch the um, details from the in the background thread also so now this is interesting how we gonna try to uh, try this because it is saying that it is suppressed kotlin x coding dot diagnostic coding context exception okay it is uh, suspending this coding default dispatcher work of four actually how we gonna solve this we gonna solve this basically by using simple creating a new uh, scope here let's call the background scope private val background thread scope of type uh, basically simple coding scope dispatcher dot io okay and uh, i am gonna um, actually let's just simple message view model dot messages dot on each and simple launch in background thread scope and we move this message adapter dot submit list and we are going to give this list as this now if we run this let's see if it's gonna give us the same result or the changed one this time cradle build is running and it is installing now okay now we are seeing the screen here let's click on something now you can see the blank screen so that means everything is working fine now and we are getting this await close callback listeners should be used in the end of callback flow so why this is happening is really it is saying that otherwise a callback listener may leak in case of external cancellation so it is just uh, give us the exception that uh, it may leak in case of external cancellation okay so that's why it is showing but uh, it is not an issue actually here and uh, just work out here and uh, okay now that's one thing uh, the second thing is basically i'm not going to solve this one actually i'm in this uh, video i'm uh, i'm going to i'm not going to solve everything i'm going to leave some things for you actually so this one is the for you so if you got the solution for this comment the comment the solution in below so that uh, i and other people can learn from your perspective and for, for uh, from your research and code okay so comment below if you found the solution for this exception basically uh, handling this exception or um, um, removing this exception okay now simple 
the code is working now now but here you if you see there is nothing to see okay the blank screen we are getting the blank screen why we are getting the blank screen because we have the chat id as blank now now there are two places from where this message fragment gonna called uh, one is from the chat fragment and the second one is from the contact fragment so first let's handle this chat fragment issue and uh, how i'm gonna handle this simply i have this open message fragment first i'm gonna get this one in the message fragment let's uh, create a new function which is companion object companion object and create a new function which is new instance and inside this we need this so we need the actually activity so let's pass activity of type main activity so that we don't need to do this and then support fragment or uh, everything else is the same i guess but we need something here which is the chat id we need the chat id here and how are we gonna get the chat id we gonna chat get get the chat id exactly like from where it is calling and from where i am calling this chat adapter here i have the chat id so model chat dot chat id now i have the chat id i'm gonna call the chat id and simply send a message model simple so let's uh, send the model chat id and also change the signature of this open uh, simple open message fragment open it and this is now this is and uh, model chat id so simply chat id here and create the message fragment sorry message fragment dot new instance provide the activity which is a simple activity as main activity and then chat id and this is how we create the new instance of the um a fragment basically so now i'm gonna pass the chat id here but how we gonna pass the chat id here so for that purpose we need to first create a fragment object so this is how we create the furniture object and then we gonna create the bundle object and this is how we gonna create the bundle object then simply put one string here a string value which is chat id and the string value is chat id simply fragment dot arguments is equals to bundle and uh, now ins instead of using this object just use this object and uh, then in simple we need to override one more method which is on create and in con create we need to check if we have the arguments as let then uh, we need to get the chat id and so for that purpose i'm going to create a new chat id variable which is of type string then simply it dot get string of type chat id simple chat id equals to this now we have the chat id we have everything so simply put the chat id here chat id now if you see get all chat messages and from this we get the messages and uh, like this and then this and then this currently i have some messages inside my uh, chat fragment chat uh, collection basically so in chat collection i have these documents which is the conversation between me and the thanos and uh, the last message timestamp is this forget about that actually this is the sub collection which is messages and it is one of the things so if you see here uh, you see there are some messages so let's run the app again and see if we get the messages or not if we get the messages on the screen that means it is working full phenomenally okay it is working really 
so installed and then click on the Thanos and then you can see we are getting the messages here my name Thanos hello YGFTV how are you hey okay so yeah that's it also you can improve this text messages layout uh, as per your need like uh, the tick marks and the simple you can set the seen and unseen thing here and also in the next one I'm gonna show you how to implement the Firebase push notification so that you can get the uh, what you can say like uh, someone send the message and the whole process of sending and then receiving the message is gonna i'm gonna show you in the next so till that happy coding bye there you have it folks give yourself a pat on the back of for completing this fantastic journey with us if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow developers also remember to follow me on instagram and threads for more exciting tech content and updates if you have any questions or need further assistance feel free to drop a comment below and we will be more than happy to help you out until next time happy coding and stay